The Hornets had the 17th best record in the league, the 10th best record in the East, and the 16th best net rating in the league. After losing in the 9-10 play-in, actually, let me rephrase that. After getting absolutely blitzed in the 9-10 play-in again, the Hornets will no doubt be looking to take the next step and not have to deal with the playing game as a concept, or at least have another game to redeem themselves. That all could start with their draft pick. So, who would they like you to select? Well, I've scoured the internet for mock drafts to gain information, and selected a few players I think have a chance to be selected by them, and I'm going to give you some info on them. Since both of their picks are so close to each other, I'm going to group them together as the guys they'll be looking at with their first pick will probably be there for their second one. So without any further dilly dallying, let's get into it. Let's start with Mark Williams out of Duke. The Hornets have been looking for an answer at the center position for what feels like forever now. If Mark Williams is there with one of their picks, they may have finally found it. I'm in love with his defensive potential and he should definitely help them on that end. I feel like he has the potential to become one of the upper tier defensive big men in the league. I think he's reasonably versatile as a big and his intelligence and savviness is up there with the best in the class. He reads situations so well and it feels like he always makes the right decision on the defensive end. There are limitations on the perimeter which are a concern. He also won't create much for himself or others on the offensive end, and the shooting is non-existent at this point. He's a very effective rim finisher though, and he's smart sharp on that end as well. If he's available, the Hornets just have to take him. While we're all wondering what James Buchanan has been doing for the past year besides getting ejected out of UConn games, the Hornets might be looking for another guard to pair with Lamelo and Daniels might be a better fit. Daniels perimeter defense is really good. He's a competitor and has the size and anticipation to be a real pest out there. He's also very switchable and can guard anyone from small guards to mid-sized wings. He will almost definitely take on the most difficult perimeter defensive assignment. He's an artist in the pick and roll and his general playmaking instincts are of a very high level. That should allow Lamelo to play off the ball a bit more and thus diversify the offense. He also makes the right play a lot of the time and does little things right. The jumper is very iffy and he struggles scoring at the rim. He's also not very athletic so he can't really lean on that too much. The downside is a bit scary but the upside could be one of the best role players in the NBA at his peak. Jeremy Sohan is a high ceiling, low floor player. He's got good size and intensity, he's very smart and flashes some tasty traits. He's extremely versatile as a defender and can maybe guard positions 1 through 5 if he gains a little more muscle and strength. His long arms and anticipation make him a headache to have to deal with, and his awareness off the ball was great. He's also got some good passing potential that I'm really interested in, and his ball handling showed some life as well. He also plays with a lot of heart and is a guy who leaves it all on the court. The jumper is iffy and is not the most crafty at the basket. The Hornets could use some help on the wing with Cody Martin and Miles Bridges both free agents. Eason's a lengthy and athletic wing who could probably switch 2 through 4. He averaged a monstrous 7 stocks, that's steals plus blocks, per 100. He's great at anticipating and getting stuck in passing lanes, and his athleticism should offer the Hornets some additional room protection. Early on, I'd expect him to provide a transition threat, and if the shot translates, some shooting on offense. As he develops, I could see him attacking the defense more for catch and of handoffs. Now let's talk about Oshai Baji out of Kansas. Getting shooting next to Lamelo should be one of the Hornets main priorities. 
Agbaji is an elite off-ball shooting prospect and I believe he can become one of the upper tier off-ball shooters in the league. That should pair really nicely on this team. He's a solid defender as well and can handle the ball a little too and that will give the Hornets more options with it. And that will give the Hornets more options with their offense. There's not much upside there but he will definitely be able to contribute sooner rather than later. Finally let's talk about Malachi Branham. Finally let's talk about Malachi Branham out of Ohio State University. Branham's a really good shooter off the ball. His jumper in general is money and that's exactly what you want next to Lamelo. He did handle the ball quite a bit at Ohio State but I wouldn't say he's necessarily a high level ball handler. He did show some intriguing potential though. His defense also wasn't the best out of the guards I've mentioned but I still don't think he's that bad. He also lacked the athletic gifts to really beat guys consistently but he does have a bit of craft in the bag. I think he'd probably play more of an off-ball role early on before developing and getting more on-ball reps as the years go on. 